What is going on guys, today we are looking at Inform Ogbonna. I know this card necessarily isn't going to be in many people's teams, but I thought, you know what, we've bought Pogba, we bought Telemons, and I thought, you know what, we may finish off the trio of Prems with an Ogbonna. He's going to be one of many red picks, and I wanted to kind of discuss, can he be useful? Can you use him in anything other than just fodder? Let me know down below what you think about Ogbonna. Let's get into the review straight off the bat. It's probably going to be quite a quick one, and let's just see what he can do. So with Ogbonna, he is a two-star, three-star. Skill moves, two weak foot, medium, medium, left-footed, standing at six foot three. And the funny thing with Ogbonna is his defensive and physical stats are outstanding. He has got an incredible tackle. The main issue with him is the rest of the stats. 65 pace is not going to get you anywhere. Even if you do, for instance, put a shadow on him, which I think is a must because you need that plus 10, it turns him into 75, which necessarily isn't awful like it's not it's not absolutely completely terrible but it's on the very very low end of the scale especially in center backs this year there is a huge huge pool of center backs that you can use some more meta than others some are better with some play styles personally for me i have varan and a baby carlos alberto other than that we've got vidic Cannavaro, kashelny um we've got uh i think it's it the belgium center back for leon we also have any other icon ones we have herrero there is so many center backs that we've already got that would come above ogbonna and i think ogbonna is going to be in a lot of red picks very much like tillemons i would prefer a tillemons but i feel like he is going to be kind of like the medium sort of rare, rare rating of a red pick uh, tomorrow just because you've got the big boys in ben Yedda, pogba and then insigne and then you've got tillemons ogbonna the guy from air divisier and then you've you go lower basically there's not a great inform week um you are, also do have a john stones i would have done a review on him but we've only just had his player moment so for me i just think that's going to be a complete waste in terms of my time because we're going to be doing ben yedda and insigne next and that'll cap off the five inform reviews for tonight and then we'll obviously go into team of the year hopefully trying to get all 11 done um it's going to cost a lot and hopefully we do get all of them done because it's always a nice thing to have a full playlist of all 11 plus i believe there's a 12th man going into it so hopefully that is possible but like bonner for me he is going to be fodder, unfortunately for anybody. The only thing that you could probably do with Ogbonna is a West Ham squad builder, um, an Italian centre-back if you are really struggling, even though there is plenty to go, which we'll have a look in the overall. But for me, he is mainly just fodder. He's not got enough pace. Passing-wise is average at best. Dribbling-wise, bit clunky. Obviously has okay composure and good reactions, but agility and balance is off. And then his defensive ability is phenomenal. That that pretty much the card summed up in one but going into Ogbonna's player uh, gameplay we did have some very very big teams to go up against we have Conte, Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo and I think I don't know if one person had an Mbappe but he did well he did really well in, consider, in considering the 94 red Messi that he came up against and he was trying to tear him a new one as well as Neymar coming in the dribbling they have is just so much better than what Ogbonna can bring but in terms of tackling he stepped up to the mark he managed to get the tackles in where he could yes outpaced Pace wise was a thing but we see the strength come into play quite a lot with him and really tries to bully people off the ball which is perfect we see here you can see the pace difference and god knows why he tried to slow down he's trying to do a bit of skill he's trying to get past him Ogbonna reads him and we get make a beautiful tackle and that's pretty much Ogbonna into a kind of like a summary if you get the tackle he'll make it so if we are looking at Ogbonna's second in form he isn't ent entirely awful terrible in the bin but he is not going to be in people's foot champs team he's not going to be in people's rivals team at best objectives maybe if you need an italian in across so many leagues and that's about it you're not really going to find this card chilling in your 15th win in foot champs or you're going to find him in division three two or one in rivals in the first couple of days where everybody plays rivals he's going to mainly be in objective teams or a squad builder, like I say, for a West Ham squad. Because West Ham, to be honest with them, are getting a nice few informs now. Obviously, we've got Bowen right at the start. We've got the right back, CDM, 
and Fabianski already in form in necessarily a lower tier team in the Prem. Obviously, Hal has gone now, and so has Philippe Anderson at the start of the season. So we have we are missing them too in terms of the team, but we still have Antonio L uh, Lanzini tends to get a couple of informs every now and then, but obviously he is getting a bit older now as well. So I can imagine the breaks are being put on. In terms of links, Fabianski is going to be the perfect one in terms of team link, and then I think similar players. Rom McNoll is coming in just I think 20k more than this card and is necessarily a little bit better. The pace is a bit more defensively, very, very similar, 87 to 81 defense and physical. And that's really about it with him. He was a cracking player back in the day. He was one of them kind of just the meta players that really put in a shift very quick. I remember him in this sort of era, FIFA 13, FIFA 14, he was I'm pretty sure he was very quick. Or was it or is it FIFA? 15 that he was very quick there was a one period where he was just unreal 80 pace here on the 79 absolutely incredible stuff right there obviously we did get a flashback last uh, last year that was a very very nice card and it was um, a non-expiry one as well so obviously you could grind that one out with league sbcs we did get a what was this card this is a if it's going to tell me, a foot birthday Okbonna, even better, coming in very cheap, and I can't believe the market's still running there, but he's had a pretty good career, he is 32, so he is coming to the end, and the fact that he's managing to get in form still, is very impressive, 32 years old, second in form in the game, can we see him progress even more, I'd love to see a third, fourth in form of him, if he can get his pace above 70, if he can get his pace realistically above 75, I feel like he genuinely could get into some better teams better objective teams because at the minute we're looking at more managerial uh, foundations if anything rather than actual like headliner challenge he's not going to be in any of them unless it is a required full national team full italian team or something like that but hopefully you did enjoy the video he's a bang average player in my opinion um i think five five out of ten is pretty spot on for him i think his 81 would have been a hell of a lot lower obviously he's had a plus five increase on his pace and hopefully if he does continue maybe we see an 86 i think the next in form if he was to get one would be an 85 and then it'd be 86 7 8 but whether he can achieve that within the time frame of actually being usable compared to team of the season foot birthdays when we get a lot more promos out that's going to be the question really hopefully we do get a flashback of him again because that actually would be quite a nice card in the prem but like i say hopefully you did enjoy the video let me know down below who is your favorite center back that nobody knows about if you go career mode if you go for an 81 rated card not necessarily someone who's amazing at the game but in real life who do you really like but that like subscribe i'll see you for the next one